Hey plant peeps, Corinne Gordon here with Green Girl Herbs and Healing coming to you today with a spooky plant friend. Check it out. This is Actea pachypoda, also known as white baneberry or the very descriptive doll's eyes, which you can see how it gets that common name by just taking a look at the white berries with the black dot reminiscent of a doll's eye. This native perennial in the Ranunculaceae or buttercup family is an important understory plant and as you can see quite striking on the landscape in the autumn. As with many plants in the buttercup family this plant is considered poisonous and although it was used medicinally by the Cherokee and also local native tribes it was only used in very dire circumstances and with the understanding that this was very powerful medicine and it could make a person sick. And even though it was used hundreds of years ago medicinally, it is not one that I recommend taking internally under any circumstances as as few as even six of these berries can cause intense gastrointestinal distress, inflammation, nausea, vomiting, uh, and potentially even death. So this is not a plant that, that you want to work with. Even so, the poisonous plants are certainly worth getting to know. Many of them have many benefits to the landscape, to native pollinators, to birds and other animals that potentially don't have an issue with ingesting the particular plant. And also many plants do you know a number of different things in the environment in which they live that are beneficial to you know woodlands and and different uh, different areas where they grow this particular plant does grow primarily in deciduous woods although you will find it sometimes in mixed woods as well there are also other members of this Actea genus that in fact actually are medicinal. Uh, Actea racemosa, which is bl uh, black cohosh, is a medicinal plant that is used uh, during menopause. It's used for backache and as a sedative and uh, a number of other uses as well. Primarily uh, that particular plant, we work with the, the root. And actually this particular plant also when it was used uh, historically, it was actually the root that, that they worked with. I actually have a particular fondness for the poisonous plants, and they're nothing to be afraid of. Uh, we just need to get to know them very well and know which plants uh, you know, we need to avoid, and uh, to also uh, you know, educate those around us if we have young children, we may need to remove certain plants, uh, and certainly if we have animals that tend to uh, eat everything like some dogs do, then we would certainly want to keep them away from certain plants. Uh, and so it's important to know which ones those plants are. One of the things that I do really appreciate about poisonous plants is the fact that they have, uh, you know, just incredible, uh, you know, energies about them, powerful, uh, you know, energies about them. The plants do more than just um, you know things for for humans which is how humans tend to think about plants is what does this plant do for me but plants do a number of things and energetically uh, you know they can also have uh, have an effect on us as well uh, so I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this video as I always say Make sure that you never use uh, any plant or ingest any plant unless you know absolutely 100% what it is. And if you would like to learn more about uh, wild plants, medicinal plants, uh, herbalism, uh, and so on, do check out uh, greengirlherbs.net and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Be well.